in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create this object now in this tutorial we will learn how to apply layers like center line and other layers then how to give dimensions and how to create this hatch let's start with creation of layer to create layer you will have to click on this layer properties now this object we have created on zero layer so we can give some color to this zero layer we will give this color ok so that color is applied to our whole object then click on new layer to create layer for center line click give the name center then choose different color suppose I will choose this one ok then here line type required to be center click on this continuous now center line is not available to make it available click on load click inside this box and for center press C so here center line is there then click on ok select the center line click on ok now for center layer center line is applied then again click on new layer and we will need one more layer for hatch give the name hatch choose different color suppose we will take this one ok then for hatch line type will be continuous click on the center and select this continuous ok then one more layer will be required for dimension click on new layer give name dim and give the color we will take this one ok now basic minimum required layers has been created we will close this box then we want these lines to be center line so select all these lines and this arc also and click here and select center and press escape now we have made them center line but those are not properly visible to make them properly visible you will have to use LTS command LTS for line type scale enter then increase the scale factor suppose I will make it 5 enter if you further want to increase the gap you can increase the value and if you want to reduce the gap you can reduce the value so for me this is sufficient so layer has been created layer has been applied and next will be to give the dimensions so for that we will make dimension layer current click on dim so it has become current for dimension we can use this command dimension and we will give one by one dimension now first dimension we will give this 36 for that click on this intersection here and this intersection here take your cursor above and click now dimension is not properly visible we will just stop this dimension command press escape to make it properly visible we will have to change the scale to change the scale type D for dimension style enter click on modify and click on fit and from here you will have to change the scale suppose I will make it 20 ok close now it is properly visible but I will have to make some other changes also now if you see here 36 it is above the line and it don't have any decimal places so you can give dimension style from here also click on annotation and from here click on dimension style then modify then click on text and make it above text placement vertical above click on ISO standard click on fit then we want this line to be shown click here draw dim line between extension lines so this line will be shown and click on primary units I don't need this four digit click here and select single zero click on ok click on close now it is properly shown then next will be this 60 diameter click on this dimension then select this circle and now I want diameter and not the radius for that press down arrow key and from here select diameter and give the position and click so this diameter distance is created the next will be 64 and 12 radius 
for 64 click on this arc now I don't need diameter I want radius for that again press down arrow key and select this radius and R64 is there click click on this arc and give the radius of 12 give the position here then next will be this radius of 10 and angle of 30 and 30 now for this angle actually we need this line outside now these lines are inside we will press escape click on this line click on this grip and take your cursor outside and track it and click same way on this line click click on this blue grip take your cursor outside and click and escape now to give this 30 degree angle again click on dimension click on this line and this line and take your cursor on this side and click again click on this line this line and take your cursor below and click the next will be this 125 height click on this end point and this end point and give the position for the dimension then this 12 I have 54 and 12 diameter 12 radius and 54 click on this arc take it outside here and click again click on this circle click outside then click on this circle and click and escape now here I want to write 4 holes 4 holes dia 12 for that double click on this dia 12 take your cursor at the start of the dia 12 or press home button on the keyboard and type 4 holes make caps lock on 4 holes dia 12 click outside so it is written there then I don't want this line to be longer press escape then to reduce the length of this line click on this line select this grip and take your cursor inside and click escape so in this way all the dimension has been given then next will be to give the hatch and for hatch we will make this hatch layer current and click on hatch command here and click inside the portion now because of these lines we will need to click so many times to avoid that what we can do we can make this center line layer off so we can create this hatch in single click press escape undo to make the center line layer off click here and click on this bulb symbol here it will make the center layer off so that you can give hatch very easily in single click click on hatch click inside this shape so in single click you can give the hatch then here nc31 is correct we want in this way only now it is coming as a thick single color to increase the gap between lines you will have to change this scale increase the scale suppose I will make it for you I will need to increase it further I will take it 10 suppose I will take it 20 now it is properly visible click on close hatch creation to show back the center lines click here and make this center layer on by clicking on this bulb in this way this drawing is ready thanks for watching we will stop here